gonna show you exactly how to become a millionaire in the cryptocurrency market by first talking about what's going on today and also talking about what you need to do today if you wanna actually build wealth in crypto. Okay, so first and foremost, Bitcoin has just entered a confirmed downtrend. This has happened because Bitcoin broke below a level at $66,000. Falling below $66,000, we had a bearish MACD cross occur. We also saw the crypto Jeb oscillator that we created in partnership with Luxalgo flash bearish as the bulls completely took their foot off the gas and the bears have now actually taken the driver's seat. And on top of that, we've seen Bitcoin falling below 66K means it's also pushing down towards the trend catcher on Lux Algo. Many different factors are leading us to the conclusion that Bitcoin will fall down to 63.5, which was our prediction on Tuesday and has now happened. And so now we could be potentially looking to a, a drop as far as $60,000. So are we shorting right now? Is that what we should be doing? I don't recommend that. And the reason for that is because we are in a primary bull market. When in doubt, you need to zoom out. So many people right now are refusing to zoom out on your mouse wheel, scroll backwards a little bit on TradingView and you'll see the whole perspective. Bitcoin's in one enormous bull flag and we're seeing the exact same thing happen from the point of view of the fundamentals and the geopolitical and the political, etc. Stock market's in a small corrective movement right now. That's not gonna last forever. We've got Bitcoin trading sideways. That's not gonna last forever. You've got Bitcoin, uh, you know, pro-Bitcoin candidate Donald Trump being extremely bullish on Bitcoin, wanting to acquire Bitcoin strategically for the United States stockpile. Cynthia Loomis coming out saying that she's gonna put forward this bill. United States is gonna buy Bitcoin, hold it for 20 years, use it to pay off debt, etc. We've got so many different bullish things going on on crypto right now. We've got a billion and a half dollars of inflows going into the Ethereum ETF since they launched other than the Grayscale Fund, which has currently lost $2 billion, right? But Grayscale can't lose money forever because eventually they'll run out of money. We've got another probably 60 days of selling there before the ETF inflows start looking a lot better and you start to see a lot of people buying into Ethereum. Massive runs are coming to Bitcoin even though in the next few days, a corrective movement may continue. We might drop down to $60,000. Heck, we could drop down to fifty-four, dollars which is our current bottom for this bull flag. I don't think we will, but it is possible. $60,000 is what I'm looking at at this point or somewhere in that range for Bitcoin and we are now in a confirmed downtrend Whereas a few days ago, we were just in a corrective movement against the primary trend. Now we're in a confirmed downtrend. But we mustn't forget, we're also in a confirmed bull market. So this corrective movement is going against the bull market. In a bull market, you bet with the bulls. In a bear market, you bet with the bears. It's real simple, guys. I've been in the cryptocurrency space for over seven years. I've been telling you the same thing ever since day one. Bet with the bulls when the bulls are in charge. Bet with the bears when the bears are in charge. This is not your contrarian channel. You know why? Because the contrarians most of the time get freaking wrecked. When you're in a bull market, long. When you're in a bear market, short most of the time. Right now, I'm not encouraging you to short. Instead, right now, I'm encouraging you to buy the dip. Buy the dip because an enormous rally is coming. Bitcoin's going to rally to 80, 90, $100,000, potentially by the end of this year, at least by the end of quarter one next year. Our end of 2023 prediction for 40, uh, 38 to $50,000 Bitcoin, somewhere in that range, happened. We're predicting at this point by the end of 2024, Worst case scenario, end of Q1 2025, we'll see 100K Bitcoin. That's almost a double from where we are right now. It's about 60, 70, 80% return in like five months. You don't get that very often. That, it takes years to do that in the stock market. It takes years to do that in real estate. That's a huge return in Bitcoin. So stay tuned for that. On top of that, make sure that you're buying Ethereum. Both of those assets are going to have tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars in their respective ETFs and, and, and cumulative inflows over the course of their history. Massive amounts of assets under management are going into those. Eventually, you'll have over a trillion dollars managed by those two types of funds between the few dozen between the two of them. So what should we be doing right now? When you see my face, think this. I want you to go from a chaotic debtor to an intentional investor. My dream is not for you to make enough investments that at 65, you're able to retire and your money pays for you. My dream is I want you to be able to retire whenever you want. Not so that you necessarily have to quit working, but so that you have freedom. That's where we are. If I stop working today, the month, the thing, the activities that I have done over the last seven years that I've been in crypto could pay for our entire lifestyle. If I shut down the business through passive income streams I've built, investments I've built, I could shut down everything and I could still pay for our lifestyle. Still, that's, you know what that feels like? That feels like freedom. It's a really good feeling and I want you to have that. So right now, you might find yourself as a chaotic person. You spend money on whatever you see. You see it and you're like, I can afford that. Boom, I'm going to buy that. And you know what happened? That's what the NFL stars do. The $50 million contract, $40 million house. I'll take one. It's gone. It's chaos. You didn't think it through. It wasn't a good plan. You're in debt. You got a bunch of debt. You got a bunch of debt. There's a, 
We have no debt except our mortgage and we're paying that off. We're on a plan to pay that off, you know, very quickly. We're in doing a lot of investment, investing and paying that down. See what kind of debt we have. And we pay it off aggressively. You know, we've shaved several years, many years off of the off of the off of the loan already because we pay it down quickly. We don't like debt. So I'm helping you to become uh, to to leave being a chaotic debtor to becoming an intentional investor. And eventually after you've invested enough, you get enough money in investments, then eventually what happens? is that the investments grow faster than you can even spend it. That's when you become free. That's where I want you to be. And so the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna get a budget, we're gonna get control of our money, we're gonna look ourselves in the mirror. Right now I can see myself on my phone here. You, Jeb, you're in control. From now on, you're in charge. You gotta look in the mirror and you gotta say, I'm in charge, period. And then you gotta look the debt in the face, whatever it is car, right? Look at this car. We own the car free and clear, right? But look at your car. Say, I'm in charge now. All right, really? How are you going to be in charge? I'm paying the debt off. How are you going to do that? I'm going to cut wherever I need to and we'll throw money at it. And then you have a certain degree of freedom. And then after you've done those things, then you get to look at the investments and say, I'm going to put a lot of money over here and eventually it's going to grow. And so what I want you doing is applying that in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is part of the plan. It's part of the FinSolve way at that point. You can put a little bit in for retirement put a lot of bit in in step nine of the fence off way, however you want to do it. And you will end up building wealth. You put money into investments, it's going to happen. And so I'm extremely excited that you're watching this video right now because today could be the day that your life changes. Today could be the day that you finally take control of your financial picture because look back at the last 10 years. I dare you. My phone died. Look back at the last 10 years. I dare you. What does it look like? Are you glad that you did what you did in the last 10 years? Or are you looking at yourself two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago saying, you screwed me over, old self. I want you to be able to walk a life where you're able to look back into the past and say, that guy did me right. And so look yourself in the mirror, look the dead in the face and say, I'm in charge now. And then go look at somewhere that you can put some money into some investments and say, I'm dumping money into this area. Build wealth start out by getting a budget, getting out of debt, buy some Bitcoin, stack some sats, buy the stock market, buy real estate if you want to deal with the tenants and be very, very glad that you did in the future. Look back on your current self today after you made a decision that I'm going to change my life with gratitude. Peace.